Faculty of Medical Sciences has five schools now, School of Medicine, School of Veterinary Medicine, School of Dentistry, School of Nursing, School of Pharmacy and School of Optometry. We are committed to improve and create an impact in the healthcare of this nation and the region by training um, doctors, nurses, veterinarians, dentists and all allied health services. Professor Ora, a couple of weeks ago, speaking on the One Health issue, a whole novel concept on, on trying to integrate various facets of managing uh, diseases. One Health is the integration of human, veterinary and environmental health. Um, and we have a 1.2 million euro grant uh, from the EC. Which, and it's absolutely vital um, that we integrate all these disciplines in order to address and approach the disease problems that we're going to have both now and in the future. Yes, Faculty of Medical Sciences staff and researchers are actively involved in the areas of uh, like infectious diseases and non-communicable diseases like type 2 diabetes. My research is found on different aspects of diabetes. We've done research on preventing diabetes on offspring because it's genetically, especially type 2 diabetes. We've done research on nutritional aspect, especially in monitoring what happens after they have eaten the locally uh, food, food stores that are available. We tested the three major food items. The patient is sada roti, rice and bread and we challenged the patients with this after seven days interval and we discovered that of all these three food items, uh, Sada Roti has the highest after meal glucose control and the post meal glucose concentration is implicated in cardiovascular disease. If they will reduce the quantity of roti and the frequency at which they eat it, that will help in reducing the blood glucose level after eating. That's very impactful. That result was presented to Diabetes Association, to the patients who actually participated. And it was published in the local newspaper and we got response. It was presented over the national television. Children are becoming more obese with time. At present, it's felt to be about 20% are obese and up to 33% are overweight. The adults unit, they have partnered with the Helen Bagon Singh Foundation and already screened 66,000 primary and secondary school children to identify type 2 diabetes among this group. These are two postgraduate students working in the area of uh, analyzing biochemical markers and VDR polymorphism in type 2 diabetes. And another one is the same, estimating adiponectin and other biochemical markers before gastric bypass surgery and after gastric bypass surgery. And adiponectin is the one actually which increases the insulin sensitivity and it helps to prevent anyone from getting the risk of diabetes. In the unit of anatomic pathology, we have done a pioneering research uh, in the area of breast cancer where we have studied uh, hormone receptors and uh, <coughs> HER2 receptors, etc., which are serious implications on day-to-day -day management of breast cancer. In the department, we have already worked on uh, cervical cancer and HPV status, which has already been uh, presented in various conferences. We are also working on lung cancer and also we have special studies being done on uh, kidney disease as well. So we are doing a wide ranging impactful research on day to day community health problems. So I basically do research on uh, microbial agents, especially Staphylococcus aureus, tuberculosis and uh, other uh, pathog uh, pathogenic organisms. And uh, it is important for us to identify the cause of uh, death in some of our patients. It gives us an information to expect a similar thing if it ever occurs in any other patient. Mr. Satis, who is a graduate student, and uh, he has taken up the project for uh, making the niogenes of uh, uh, antibacterial and he is working and he is about to finish his project. In the process he has already formulated the niogenes and now he has almost completed the uh, pharmacokinetic activity that is bio distribution of these lipogenes in the animals. Uh, we are formulation and development of the anti-diabetic drug. 
the purpose of the development of anti diabetic uh, disease form that is a tablet formulation and the tablet formulation especially the oro dispersible tablet the purpose is to immediate provide the relief in case of the diabetic problem to the patient we are uh, engaged in the area of research like asthma chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases dental health and hygiene in school children schizophrenia dementia uh, mental health and neuroscience and so on the research team has been working on a number of areas in dementia and alzheimer's disease and our areas of focus include the epidemiology of dementia uh, studies on the biomarkers in dementia and caregiver studies we also through this formed an organization which we're all the co-directors called dart which stands for dementia awareness research in trinidad and tobago alzheimer's is a disease that can go from anywhere from 10 to 20 years. Where we looked at 2,000 elderly people and we looked at two, two big areas. We looked at the prevalence and the epidemiology of the disease, but we also looked at the socioeconomic impact of this illness on the families. And, there, and during the, the course of the disorder, there, there are numerous personality changes. And we have done a study with, our care, with as many caregivers as we could um, uh, uh, recruit and we, we, we perform tests called a caregiver burden. We, we have made headway. The results have been analyzed. And with these results, we plan to actually go to the various ministries so that it will influence policy, rebudgets, um, health planning, and implications for health planning. I do a lot of outreach. I'm often out in the field with clients, and I, tend to, I take students with me as well. So they are learning the profession on the field, right there with the cases in front of them. We work in conjunction with the Government Farm Animal Service, wherein we all will see farm animal cases for the private farmers and the government farms as well. So the University of the West Indies, as you know, is a regional institution, so a lot of the vet students that we train will go up the islands. We have students from Barbados, from Jamaica, from Antigua, so they will then take the information that we impart on them. They will go back to their countries and therefore do the same thing that I'm doing, in order to help their farmers in the public to assist um, with their work. What I'm trying to do with my research is to really do something that's going to have a direct impact uh, on the farmers, on the people that actually have the animals here, where we're trying to understand the background or baseline of disease in all the key species that we have um, in Trinidad and Tobago. So what do cattle have, what do sheep have, or what do poultry have, and then it's only knowing by what they have that we can then go on to characterize the different pathogens and actually control them. The aim of much of our research is to understand how viruses change over time, how they spread and what factors underlie those um, activities. I'm particularly interested in viruses that are what we, say, what we call emerging viruses, viruses that are expanding in their range or in their incidence. So for example, Ebola is a good example of an emerging virus. And in the case of dengue, we have um, identified factors such as air traffic and population density as factors that determine the um, rate and direction of dengue virus spread in the Americas. The research is not an, an end of itself, it is enabling research, it's basic research that others can build on. Our findings would be published in scientific journals, read by other virologists, molecular geneticists, people involved in emerging diseases, and they would build on that, that research. We, we seek to understand the mechanisms um, underlying a problem in order to then allow others to find a solution. We're not doing guessing work and then we're not beating about the bush. We just want to identify what really is causing a, a problem in the patient and then getting a well-informed uh, information to treat the patient.